Hey guys, welcome back to another stream. See, we finished up the Secret of Monkey Island last night. And tonight, as you can see, we're starting Monkey Island 2, The Chuck's Revenge, Special Edition. <laughs> so, let's see, a little background on Monkey Island 2 before we start that. Let's see, it was uh, published by LucasArts in 1991, the remake, Special Edition. Uh, it was made in 2010 for the PC and released later in 2017 for the Xbox, Xbox One. Exploring here, huh? You know, honestly, I don't think I've actually played this one. I mean, I, I did play the first one, which we finished last night. I do remember bits and pieces of it. But it had been uh, a few years, so. Like I said about the first one, I just remembered the, the sword fighting, the insults. It was always a specific one, though. The, it was the one that went like, um, what was it? You fight like a dairy farmer, and the comeback is something like, you, you, how, how convenient or something like that, you fight like a cow. <laughs> something like that. But then you start seeing all the other insults, you're like, oh yeah, I remember that. I don't know. If, I don't know if this one has the insult fighting or not. And I don't think we'll. I really don't think we'll play any of the other Monkey Island games after we finish this one. Well, I do have the third one though. Uh, is it Revenge of Monkey Island? Something like that. That's the one where they uh, drastically changed up the uh, graphic style of it. Classic mode voice dialogue, subtitles, I always gotta have that on. Audio, yeah. video. That's pretty much it. Uh, controls. Uh, pretty much just your basic stuff. You know, I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, point and click game, you can't have really confusing controls on those. I mean, how would you do it? You, you just couldn't. So the, the Switch mode that should take you from the original version to this special edition for the graphics. I like doing that, you know, which you could tell if you watched the uh, videos from the played through the first game. It's always just interesting to see how much they enhanced. 
Well, like I said, character models in the uh, the first Monkey Island game, uh, in the original, they were more lifelike. The uh, special edition, they were just more uh, stylized. I also think I like the models from the original game, though. That's, that's just a preference, though. You may disagree. If you do, that's all right. Call the, the verb action dial. Now to play Navigating Guybrush. Use the mouse to point the cursor where you would like Guybrush to go and press the left mouse button to make Guybrush walk there. Interacting with the environment. The cursor allows you. Well, well, well. I mean, it's always the same stuff, like I said. If you played one point and click, the controls, yeah. That's the uh, object highlighting. So I think that's new from the first one. I think. I don't remember there being any object highlighting in the first one. I could be wrong. I just completely overlooked it. Let's see. To help you identify interactive objects more quickly, press the left or right mouse buttons together to highlight them. Okay, inventory. Yeah. Put the cursor of the item to highlight it, press the left mouse button, select it, some mouse can be combined with other items. Same as the first one. You can tell here we get to dig up a grave. We have the hint system. If you're ever unsure about what to do next in Monkey Island 2 Special Edition, you can bring up the hints by pressing the H key. This will start off being slight clues, and if you require further help, you can press the H key in for a more detailed description of what you should do next. I don't think I ever use these shortcuts. Uh, in the first game, I just used the scroll wheel to just scroll through the actions. <laughs> I mean, it's easy enough to remember, though. You got P, pick up, C, close, I, inventory, T, talk, A, chant, L, look, G, give, U, use. Oh, open. Then the S and the Y's push and pull. Yep, same actions as the first game, so. Let's get started. Get your grog, guys. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It, it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean, Scab Island. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, <laughs> if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? <laughs> well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? <laughs> no, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. 
A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Largo and Bargo. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I am really pretty sure I've never played this, because, yeah, none, none of this is looking familiar to me. I am digging Guybrush's uh, new outfit, though. Like the classic pirate. Oh, we got stuff in our inventory. Nice. We uh, got riches. Yeah, it looks like they've. We got it. This may be a lot of money, but it's nothing compared to how rich I'll be when I find Big Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, it looks, definitely looks like they've uh, streamlined like the, uh, the, the, uh, at the bottom, use riches, look at riches. I think I'm pretty well prepared financially for now. I intend to. <laughs> I intend to. It's a huge riches. I intend to. All right, then. I intend to. Okay, then. Oops, uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants. On second thought, stop right there. You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Let's see, is this some sort of bribe situation? Sure, take my money. I don't want any trouble. That's a lot of money, though. Who's gonna make me shorty? I don't pay for, for nothing. I'm a pirate. I don't pay for nothing. I'm a pirate. Tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want. There's no police on Scab Island. I see that who keeps up the law and maintains order. And who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Please! I got my new coat. I like that coat. Okay, put me down now and I won't have to hurt you. Then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transients? Had to say it. I rough someone needs roughing up on this island. He roughs up. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Ligre. He's a dick. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. They took it all. It's all gold. No, no riches. You were no hill frog. Or fish. Let's see what Welcome to Woodtick. No treasure hunting zone. I feel they did this now, uh... Okay, so if you, uh... Yeah, so it's like if you hold down the right mouse button, it brings this up. Can I take a sign? Oops, I think I broke the sign. Wait. 
Oh, well, he put like a real shovel in the sign. Thrifty dig for the treasure hunter on a budget. What did you just paint a shovel on the sign though? Sure, how uh, not sure how I feel about the art style in this one compared to like the first special edition one. It seems different. Help wanted. Oh boy, it's Buzzsaw Girl. No one touches her but me. I'm gonna take it. What do you think you're doing? No one touches her but me. I'm gonna do it again. Hey, don't touch that. No one touches her but me. One more time. Get away from there. Oh. No one touches her but me. Three times wasn't a charm. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Seem to work. Stool then. That doesn't seem to work. So, what a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Okay. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. I didn't know it's the peg legs. Nice peg leg. Thanks. I made it myself. Cool. What do you think you're doing? Get your hands away from there. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. Get your hands away from there. Well, I guess in hindsight, I should listen to the guy that's got the hammer, so... Oh, let's try out the, um, the highlight there. Oh, okay. Woody. That's me. Get away from there. It's not a toy. He looks buff. <clears throat> yeah. What's the problem with that Largo guy? That's apron. There's some sort of shelf. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? I just like the browns. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. Oh. But if a woodchuck could chuck and woodchuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. <laughs> nice apron. Are you some sort of chef? No, I'm a woodsmith, which gives one of us an excuse for dressing funny. All right. What's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No, like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh, <laughs> I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Okay, we can also just click the, uh, the mouse wheel to bring up the inventory. Yes. Of course, scrolling still does 
happened there? Goes to what I you can do. It's all a shortcut, so that's the help thing there. Just kind of point you in the right direction. Let's see, I was looking for... Oh, 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 there. That, let's see... Uh... Yeah, see, if I pay attention to all this, you can see, see? Click once to open, close the inventory. Uh, let's see, menu, menu, oh, switch mode, yep, trigger commentary. Like I said, there's still just something to be said for like everything just being on the same screen. Game window, inventory, the verb menu as they call it. I just like, like I said, I like seeing how much has changed. That's the hip one sign, which you can't make out at all here. There's... It's like a martini glass in that old one. As you see, here's the bloody lip. Yeah. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. Help wanted. One week salary in advance. Inquire below. Dinky little door. Hello. Hello. Wait. Yeah, I'm trying to see if I can find all the things to interact with first. Then when I think I've got them all, use the highlighter. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. <laughs> it's too small. It's a pile of blank paper. Yep. Yes. It's blank. Let's see. Nice map. Not for sale, though. I can't reach it. Okay. Pick up cartographer. I'm not dressed for wrestling. <laughs> nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. 
Hi there, can I help you? Hi, I'm Guybrush Threefoot, the Chuck Busting Stud. I'm Guybrush, who are you? Excuse me, do you know anything about Big Whoop? How's the place you have here? Well, goodbye. Ugh. Hi, I'm Guybrush. Who are you? Wally. Wally B. Feed. At your service. What exactly do you do here? I'm a cartographer. You do open heart surgery? In here? Uh, no. I'm the map making sort of cartographer. Oh. Is that all you do? Make maps? Well, I do some restoration work too. I paste them together, recopy them, paint little cupids in the corners. You know, artsy fartsy stuff. Maps are very, very important. So, out of curiosity, I wonder what Wally does all the maps when it rains. Cause, uh, well. Yeah. And his little bed will get soaked too. How's business? Terrible. No one needs any maps since no one can go anywhere thanks to Largo. You know anything about this Largo guy? He's just the local hood. Shakes down everybody in town. Nobody comes or goes from Scab because Largo makes them pay through the nose. Yeah, tell me about it. Where's the governor's mansion? There is no governor on Scab. This is an anarchist cooperative of pirates, cutthroats, and other criminals. A haven for roughnecks and rebels like me. The only authority on this island is that bully Largo. What well, sucks. I'm looking for some room and board. Well, I hear there's a new chef down at the Bloody Lip. And the Swamp Rot Inn has all the comforts of the sea. But I think Largo's booked the whole thing. How can I get off this island as soon as possible? Good luck. With the sailing embargo Largo's imposed on Scab, it's hard to get anywhere. Which doesn't help my business, let me tell you. Thanks for the lowdown. Any time. You know, I could just sit and talk about maps all day. Hey, me too! <laughs> what kind of maps do you make? Every kind a pirate could need. My eyes have seen the whole world. And there's not a part of it I haven't put down on paper. Maps are very, very important. Actually, I prefer to just stop and ask directions. That's what Magellan thought. <laughs> Sorry, cartographer joke. Is longitude the sideways one or is that latitude? I can never remember which is which. It's so cute when you lay people try to understand geography. I could try to explain it, but it would probably just go over your head. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh, who sent you here? I should warn you, I'm heavily armed. Oh, sent by the IRS. Let me see your files. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. Are you looking for Big Whoop too? Well, I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. <laughs> Not at all. I know I'm looking for it, and that's about it. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. 
they washed up on a remote deserted island. Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them, and they all went their separate ways. Where are they now? Well, I don't even know their names. I'd go look them up at the Fat City Library if it weren't for this stupid Largo embargo. Of course, it could just be an old legend, but if I could just see the map of that island, I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Thanks, I gotta go. Okie dokie. Hey, oh, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Where is that thing? Hi, Wally. Who's there? I can't <laughs> see anything without my monocle. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. I swear I put it right here. Okay. I hope I didn't lose it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Got one now, I can't feel kind of bad about it. How am I supposed to work? Dang. I'm such a dope. Can't I do anything right? Well, it just makes you feel kind of bad though. Nice. It reads Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll <laughs> of Largo Legrand. You there. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine, so far. Wanna see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Mm, not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. 
Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! <laughs> That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Let's see here. Uh... It's a metronome. No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. I should have listened to my mother. I should have practiced. Yeah, that never stops people from banging on the keys of the piano, though. Come on. Yeah. Largo's been here. Nasty. I don't want to touch it with my hands. That's sick. There's a good reason for using that. Ugh. Yep, it's Largo's. Hey! Hired help only! Oh. So that's the kitchen there, then. The fire's out. I'm no cook. It's already closed. I bet it weighs half a ton. <laughs> It's a cold potato and leek soup. It's too heavy. You never stuck it before. Ugh, it's all cans of fruit cocktail. I hate fruit cocktail. Sharp. Sharp. He looks really into his cooking. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. Don't Kids are pretty good at it. Oh, almost nailed it. Tiny pit alligator? 
Nice. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. <laughs> nice. Yes, box. It won't fit in my pocket. It's just a bucket. Hey, leave that alone. What? Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Okay, then. <laughs> Man of low moral fiber. Pirate. What is it? Did you ever get that circus started? Oh, yeah. Do we know you? Someone's like the three guys from the uh, first game that's in the, uh, the town. And they had like the little pet rat. And if you talk to, the, if you try to interact with the rat too much, the rat will run off. They were right across from the uh, the guy that sells you the the treasure map, Tamili Island. But it just turned out to be uh, dance les lessons. But it was still a map, though. If you followed it right. Body pirate, guy brush the man who rid the world of the chuck. You try to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game? <laughs> I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh, <laughs> couldn't refuse. <laughs> so, we sold him the business. What did you do with the money? We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. <laughs> we wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. <laughs> Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? I'm looking for that too. Well, I hope your luck is better than ours. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already! He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. How come you have to perform on that ledge? 
Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, so to speak. Right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well... We're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh... Hmm. Turtophobia. Grandophobia. Terraphermophobia? Stupidity? Terraphermophobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcophobia. Fear of strange vegetables. <laughs> Sounds more like workophobia to me. Sounds more like workophobia to me. Say what you will, we're not coming down. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. Oh, okay. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Not responsible for stains left on clothing. He looks nice enough. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out stew. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes the cleanest they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? <laughs> you got some nerve. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Would you be able to get out ketchup? Get out ketchup? What do you want me to do? Uh, nothing. What do you know about Largo Legrand? I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Oh, he, he hears that perfectly fine, doesn't he? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny. Let's see, um... I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. It's sparkly clean. No ticket, no laundry. Oh. Get to go back over here. Yeah, see? Well, look like here. Oh, isn't that cute? I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. I could lose a finger doing that. It's worth it. Come on.
It's tied to the post. And it's securely fastened. Okay, so you can use the rope with something then. Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Nice. I don't think I'd get away with that. Be with you in a second. 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 I can't figure he get tired of that. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Hold it right there. That's a private room. No going up there. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, bet we can. Yeah, hey, we got a piece of eight. I'm rich. Hey, how'd old pig biter get loose? Pig biter. <laughs> I better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies! One of my favorites! Yeah, I don't need any more. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f out of here! What are you doing in here again? I wonder if he leaves, though. Kid. Oh, shoot. Like comparing the map. Tick swamp. Good tick beach. Peninsula. Cemetery. International House of Mojo. I kind of like the old casket better. <laughs> Can we use this? With... Oh. Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine. All mine. It's a bucket full of mud. 
One of my favorites. Everything looks all blurry. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. Play model. It appears to be yo-yo string. I'll just take a little. It appears to be bolted to the table. Now who bolts a skull to the table? It looks like bound editions of Voodoo Quarterly. No thanks. I don't need it. They're unlabeled. I don't think I'm qualified to handle them. And anyway, they're gross. Brush Threepwood. It's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful, ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh, yeah, now I remember. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Hey, figures. Well, I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person, and no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something uh -huh. of the head, uh -huh. something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing, and a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body, and from his dead relatives, you must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take this shopping list. <laughs> Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? Nope. I'll bring you more later. 
Good. Now go. Great Recipes from the International House of Mojo, page 139, Aunt Helen's Special Voodoo Doll Mix. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Okay, so let's see, something of the head. It looked like in his room at that, that end, there was like a, a toupee was in there, so might be that. Then for the dead, there is a graveyard on the map, so... If he's left that room yet. Nice stick. Nice. Wrap Scallion Steam and Weenie Hut. Place order here. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Looks closed. Steam and weenies, 20 feet. Nice. He's back. How's the pirate biz? Horrible. The sailing embargo has all of us pirates landlocked. We can't go about our business. Some of us tried pirating on land, but it just didn't feel right. <laughs> What's this about an embargo? The Largo embargo. Well, it's not really an embargo. It's a tax on ships coming or going. But it's a huge tax that no captain on this island can afford. Including Dread. That fool Largo doesn't know when to stop. He can't take more from us than we have. Tell me about this Largo guy. A two-bit thug. He's nothing but a low-down weasel. So why don't you kick Largo off the island? Well, we would. But he was very close to LeChuck. But LeChuck's gone forever. I heard they never found his body. That's because I blew it into a thousand pieces. Oh no. 
Not this story again. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Got a stick at the beach. Well, I guess we'll head way down to the cemetery. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. Oh, goodness. The rickets. No trespassing. Stan's cozy crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. The quagmires. No trespassing. The quagmires. No trespassing. Gee. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. <laughs> the grave of the unknown pirate. The grouts. No trespassing. It looks like it's been sealed shut. Here lie the Gordo brothers. Too big for any ship. Let's hope the earth can hold them. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood, Jim took every risk he could. A life of action, that was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. <laughs> no man commanded jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. John did whatever he did please, until he kissed the gunner's daughter. There once was a girl named Carrie, who thought that she soon should marry. She went into town and flirted around. She didn't get wed, she got buried. Jeez. Marco Largo Legrand, hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> okay. This is creepy feeling. <laughs> I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Nice. Gross. Nice. There's strange little white bugs all over it. Yeah. Now we need to get uh, red and Largo. Those ain't clothes. Uh, 
it doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Ooh, that mug come in handy. Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, somebody's gonna be real sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. It's already open. It's stuck open. I don't see anything special about it. Then again, I never really have understood art. Messy, messy, messy. I'd better not touch them. It looks like somebody's trying to grow penicillin. They look pretty old. Making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out. Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Party tonight? Sure, I'll come. I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me. I've been dry for three years. I said I need it back tonight. What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night. This is useless. You tell them I'll be back to pick it up. Or else. Okay, so we need to get Largo's clothes then. That'd be the last thing we need to get. But we can't get without a claim ticket. So. It's a pretty good bet that the claim ticket's back in his room, right? It's blank and kind of soggy. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Do you have your claim ticket, Sonny? Sure do. Got it right here. Great! I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now oh, where was it? Ah! Here it comes! Uh, uh, oh, okay. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Nice April fresh scent. <laughs> okay, so we got everything we need, so go back to the swamp and the voodoo lady. Into the coffin. Actually, I like the old one.
Have you brought me any more ingredients? I have his toupee. Hmm. Not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. <laughs> At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. <laughs> this Go ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. How does that look just like? It's little, mean looking, and ugly. Just like Largo. Okay, question answered then. Sharp. I'm rich. Hell yeah. Brush roll. Okay, so I mean, it's safe to say that the only place you can really find him was in his room. Kick you out of here before? Stop bothering me! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How oh, are you doing that? Yeah, went to your chest, Mr. Legrand, butt. You are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh. Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, oh. it is alive. Oh. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring it back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I 
would you keep his beard, Gabrush? Why? I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Yes. Undoubtedly. Yes. Can you give me something to protect me? He has magic just as strong as mine. Nothing I could give you would protect you. But there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for <sighs> Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I Ooh. foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Big whoop. Unclaimed bonanza or myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking one. Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. <laughs> Haven't we been to? I uh, see. Uh, there, there, there. Oh, here. I love a house with that nautical look. <laughs> One thing I like doing is looking at like the things like this on the wall, just to see if they kept everything. The hammer. One, two, three, shark. Two, three. Well, I mean, it looks like they did for the most part. Uh, you see here, it looks like the XXX. But it's not there. Wait. Captain Dread.
Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? Navy Dreads. Thanks, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. Hmm. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've Eesh. kept it as a good luck job. Okay. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. So it kind of sounds like he's talking about the monocle, though, right? Look at this. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? Because, I mean, the monocle, you know, came from the cartographer. But it's kind of like an eye that's seen the, the world, you know? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lagos been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Yeah, you're right. I'm broke. It says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Let's see, where would you get some... Unless that cook is queer from here, maybe. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo Le Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy uh, I hired is doing just fine so far. Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Oh. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Uh, in that case, I'll take my business elsewhere. Sorry, kid. Are you supposed to try and get the guy fired or what? One of my favorites. That wouldn't taste very good. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. Get something to drink, about to eat. I'll be right back.
Guys, let's see here. The barkeep might see me. Well, you want to leave anyway, right? Stick it landing. Why oh, you stick the landing? Yes. Okay, we still need to get that polish. Yeah. Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? <laughs> um, well, no, <laughs> never mind. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. My mom would help me find it. Hey. For crying out loud. Yo. Yo. That wouldn't be wise. Nice. That doesn't seem to work. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Oh, of course. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Yo! That wouldn't be wise. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. He looks buff. Largo, leave this island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. 
I wonder. Can we? The box is closed. Then open it. One of my favorites. Nice. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. The box is closed. It won't fit in my pocket. Yo! If only I could use this stuff on my lines. I think he wanted me to polish it for him. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. So... Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. So we need, do we need to do this the entire time? Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. So we need 20 pieces of eight to hire Captain Dredd. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Well, I mean, I guess he wants to keep paying us for it. Hey. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Well, yeah, we'll keep doing it. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Man, he wants that pickle leg to be shiny, doesn't he? Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Oh, four more times. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. I'm also curious to see if the wood polish disappears once you actually do reach 20. Thanks. Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Thanks. I'd give you a piece of eight, but uh, <laughs> I'm fresh out. Thanks. I'd give you a piece of eight, but uh, <laughs> I'm fresh out. What? So we get the nat team.
Then he says, oh, I'm sorry. I'm out. something with this. the stick don't we? Nice. Yes, yes we do. That doesn't seem to work. Open. Take this back. Ah. Nice. One of my favorites. That has to be the bait for her, right? Doesn't seem to work. in my pocket. Cute little fella. Cat cowering rat. Poor little rat. Cute little fella. Okay, so what uh, do we... Hmm. Is it them? I think they'd be mad at me for trapping their rat. Let's think here. Um, can you see? It has to have something to do with the the kitchen and the bloody lip, because it's the way the barkeep says something about the new cook is doing. He's doing fine so far. And you can keep asking about the job. So. I still think you're trying to look for a way to get the new cook fired, right? Oops. 
interesting. This is a cold soup. Okay. Ugh, there's a rat swimming in it. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Ow! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can uh, you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? I don't know. How much does it pay? 420 pieces of eight a week. First week paid in advance. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great, job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now yes. go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Let's see here. Do we actually do anything? I'm no cook. That's what you were hired for though. Yeah, the rat's been swimming in it. I've never been much for rodent seasonings. Where is the rat that I want? Go see what's back up here. Oh no! It's like the second time we've got rid of the rat. I'm rich! You're getting there. Yes, on the first game, we, we ran off those guys, the rat. But now this time, we got rid of the rat. Shame, shame, shame. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, uh -huh. consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. I just showed you looks can be deceiving, dang it. Part two, four map pieces. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies 
Lechuk's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment <laughs> just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. I. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Twenty-one percent complete. And with that, since it's part two, we're going to call it there for the night, guys. You know, like I said, I'm I'm a I'm a hundred percent positive I've never played Monkey Island two. So all I've played is the first one, and I think I did play a little bit of the the third one. I think it's like the beginning of it, I think. But I've not played this one. Hmm. Oh well. New adventures all around. Alright guys, well, we'll pick up here again tomorrow night. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all tomorrow night. And as always, I hope you have a good rest of your night. Or rest of your day. Depending on where you're at. So we'll see y'all tomorrow night.